Hi, this is Jana with Bees Knees, and today I'm going to show you how to put a vinyl decal on an ornament without any wrinkles or folds. So to get started, we need our ornament. If you want to learn how to paint these ornaments, I will link that video up above and also down below in the description. And I like to use these disc-shaped ornaments. I call them m and M. I rarely ever use the round ones. Those are incredibly hard to get any piece of vinyl that's any substantial size on those without it wrinkling. So these are still curved, you can see, but it's much easier to work with. So that is the first key. Set, your up, set yourself up for success. And also along those lines, I'm going to put this vinyl decal on this ornament. So a couple of things to point out about this decal. You'll see it does have a big piece. This is obviously the hardest piece to work with because you need to get this big music staff around this curve without it wrinkling. And I'll show you how to do that. But you want to be careful in your selections because then it has these other pieces and these are fine because they're more individual pieces. So you want to stay away from a really big, large, like I thought about putting a circle around this and then I was like, that's a horrible idea because to get a piece of vinyl that goes all the way around this edge and doesn't wrinkle once would be nearly impossible just because it's so big. So size is key. You don't want anything too big. And then if you can have it in multiple pieces instead of one continuous big piece, you're going to have way more success. So, but this is still tricky. Don't get me wrong. It took me a couple times to figure out out how to do it uh, before I got it right and I'm going to show that share that with you and I'm also giving you this free decal if you have any music lovers that are friends or family and want to make them a gorgeous ornament it's available in my freebies on my website and also linked down below so step one like anything you want to take a alcohol wipe and you want to clean the surface of where you're working. This gets the oils, the dirt, the debris off, so your vinyl has the best chance of sticking and staying permanent on your ornament. So next, and a lot of people skip over this, but this is critical as well. This is my transfer tape, so this is what I'm going to use to get my vinyl on my ornament. Well, getting the right level of stickiness is key. So I don't know if you can see, but my vinyl has a little bit of a texture. So it's not glitter, it's not that much, but regular transfer tape did not work with this. I couldn't peel it back, it was frustrating, it kept staying stuck to this, it wouldn't stick to my transfer tape. The whole thing, you know, it was very frustrating. And then I went to the strong grip, which is what I usually use to do my glitter. And it was too sticky. It was giving me a really hard time when I was trying to get it down onto the ornament. And then luckily I remembered, I do like, this is tech wrap transfer tape. I do like tech wrap because they have lots of different levels of stickiness. This is their middle, what they call their middle. And I said, ah, the, the low is not sticky enough. The strong grip is too sticky. So I tried, it felt like Goldilocks, and I tried the middle, and it was actually just right. So I got lucky there that I had this on hand. So get your right level of stickiness of transfer tape. Go ahead and put it on your vinyl decal. You want to burnish the front real well. Then you want to flip it over, and you want to burnish the back very well. So that way, the harder you press, the more you burnish, the more likely it is going to stick to your transfer tape and not the backing. So then I'm just going to roll my backing away from it. Always use this technique, no matter what I'm working with. And I have my vinyl ready to go. Now, when I did this for the first time, I went like this, and I had wrinkles everywhere, and I had to start over. So the key is to strategically cut. So I'm going to make slits around in all of the pieces that I kind of want to be more movable and more flexible. 
So I'm gonna cut these stars. I'm gonna put a slit next to this music note. I'm gonna cut the top of the music staff and you notice I cut the bottom. And then I'm gonna make a couple slits here around my music. That gives me more flexibility and more movement. And you'll see when I'm putting this down. So now I just wanna come here and I wanna line this up. And this is key too, I found in doing this. I wanna press down first the part that's gonna be the trickiest. So here, this is my tricky part, right? Because it's all one piece. So my staff is my tricky part. It's all one piece and this is the biggest part of it. So this is on a curve. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press out in this direction, this direction, this direction, and this direction. So I've kind of got that big part down first. Now what I'm gonna do, because I cut these slits, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna pull it and kind of pull any wrinkles out of it and at the same time, press it down. So if I hadn't cut that slit, I wouldn't be able to do that. And I'm gonna do that down here too. And then the rest of these pieces are easy. You can just pull it up a little bit and then I pull it tight, pull it out and lay it flat. And then I have my music and it's a lot more flexible because I cut those slits. So then, I mean, the only drawback to the slip method is you cannot reuse your transfer tape because you've cut it up and when you remove it, you have to peel it off in pieces, but that doesn't bother me because it's worth it to get your correct end product. Okay, so now you'll see, you see right here, I still have a little bump, which is expected because then by the way I put it down first there, I can just work that bump right out with my fingers. If I had started at the top or the bottom pressing it out, trust me, I made that mistake. I was not able then at the end to work these out, but because I started pressing in the center, even if you have any little bumps, they smooth right out. So you can see this is a rather large vinyl decal and it is smooth, no bumps. And if you follow this strategy on any design of your choice, you will have the same success.